This year's Tet Parade was held under gloomy skies, but that did not hurt the enthusiasm. There were all sorts of colorful, traditional Vietnamese costumes. There were many participants from the community, marching bands, dancing girls, martial artists, beauty queens, a strong military presence, along with many local government officials. It seems every community group was participating except for the LGBT community, who were excluded from this year's parade. The Fish Council and other folks are leading the parade and they're organizing it, sort of by default because no one else in the community stepped up to organize it. The city of Westminster said they wouldn't pay for the parade anymore. And as a result, we were excluded. We were the only group that was excluded in the parade. We have uh, proposed for them, uh, uh, following the model from the Rose Parade 2013, that they, that they can uh, march uh, you know, in the third parade like, uh, right after we uh, finish, but they have uh, refused our uh, proposal. There was a crowd estimate of 10,000 viewers. For many, this was their first time attending the Tet Parade. This is our first time. Yeah, this is our first time. Yeah. It makes us feel proud that like, everyone is so involved, you know. Um, I mean, like, we, like, um, the Vietnamese community, we, like, do something like this every year for New Year's. It makes us feel really proud that we're part of the Vietnamese community. We, we wish every year we will have a better parade than this year. Reporting for the Orange County Register, I'm Allison Landrum.